What is going on guys? My name is Ron Beckin from Roman Reviews here with the final episode reaction of this year for ReZero, Certain Life in Another World, Season 2. This has been a roller coaster of a ride and I have n I, I can't wait to see how this is going to blue ball us because it's ReZero, you know they're going to have to end this off on a cliffhanger and definitely a banger. You know, if it wasn't for COVID... We would have actually had the, I believe, the finale would have actually already ended for the second season. I don't think originally the plan was that this was going to be split up in two cores. But when uh, coronavirus really hit hard, um, it really affected the production companies. Actually, the production companies across the world, um, from dubbing companies like Funimation to just the production companies in Japan, a lot of things got halted, a lot of things got postponed, this got postponed, I believe this was supposed to come out, what, two seasons ago, I believe, originally? Um, so, unfortunately, due to this, yes, um, we would have already had the finale uh, done with, and but, you know, the fact that we're still getting ReZero after waiting for four years... Um, makes up for it but yeah so with the last episode really quickly i'm gonna go do a little bit of a recap so second episode or second to last episode so last episode a lot of stuff happened too i mean not as crazy i was as i would say as two episodes ago nothing has hit that craziness factor um the primary thing was the the primary thing was that um he's back of the witches um, he's with the witches, he part, but also we got to finally see the second trial. First trial was about him confronted with his past. Um, same thing with Amelia, which Amelia has not been able to at least pass as of this moment. Um, and yeah, another thing was that now that we got to the second part of the trial, which is going to be face your present self. So we can assume that the next one is going to be, of course, face your future later on down the road, which is, I'm really curious, doesn't seem what's going to happen with that one, but of course we're not going to get that until next next part and back in January. Um, also, this trial is uniquely difficult for Subaru simply due to the fact that he has the return by death, so his present self, he's looping back and witnessing what what, what could have or would have happened um, in the event of if his death had happened at a certain point in time, what would have happened to the rest of the characters and the story and the world behind it. Now, apparently this was the author confirming or at least teasing to the idea of multiple timelines, um, but who knows. Um, it, I heard that, uh, I don't think that anything's set in stone, uh, but yeah, um, really quickly, I had a sneeze coming up, but it didn't go, and it'll probably sneak up eventually when I'm talking, uh, but another thing is we got to see, or we got to figure out that Beatrice has been waiting for no one, uh, the contract that she had made with Echidna was really just a contract to see what Beatrice, who Beatrice would choose, not actually... But Beatrice doesn't know that. Beatrice actually believes that there is a preordained or predestined person that is going to save her or be that person that she's been waiting for for four, over 400 years. And it shows the inhumane nature of Echidna. Now, I know a lot of people have like, oh, well, how do you feel about your wife now? Now that you, now that you see some of her true intentions. I'm like, bro... She's still hot. I don't care. <laughs> are you kidding me? Most people are like, like hell. There's a, there's a certain charm about crazy. I mean, you don't stick your dick in it more than once, but there's a certain charm about crazy. <laughs> Plus, I mean, she's not this craziest. I, f I, f I still think we're about to meet the craziest with uh, Statella appearing at the end with all the witches. Also, another really big thing, we had to see some of the witches pop in and be like, hold on, Subaru, um don't do that probably not a good idea so there's a lot going on again um another thing is just the whole fact that satella how is she here now a good possibility of why she is here is the fact that yes she had and took in i believe the essence or the powers of all the other witches um so in fact making her the only witch left alive so that might be the case that since she's able to take in she that she took in the witches she's able to 
reached this castle of dreams that uh, that's Kenna's world. Who knows? We're probably gonna get some questions. Like I, I bet you the moment she's gonna come in, Kenna's gonna be like, "How did you get here?" Um. So we'll see. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? But yeah, I'm curious to see where this is gonna go. I got my beer because I had a bad day at work, <laughs> and I got my water because always drink your water, kids, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, guys, I'm ready to jump into this episode reaction, so without further ado, let us jump in to the season, mm, the halfway mark of season two, starting in three, two, one, let's jam. Oh, okay, so there was barriers in place. And this is her actual form. Your dick. <laughs> I, I want to know why. Are we ever going to see her face, though? I'm wondering. Love. Love me. I'm going to be quiet for the most part, just to let you guys know. Just a forewarning, as you guys can see. But here's, I can kind of see where Super is coming from. Another, I mean, he. Oh, 
Another thing is that he, I think if he's get help from Beatrice now that, with that whole situation. Nani? Boobs. Is he, is he, is he, does he snap? Is he gonna kill himself here? Wait, what? Segment? I, I, I heard that segment is ridic is like ridiculously strong. I think he realizes because he can constantly come back, maybe? Everything. He's seen everything that he's experienced. I- th what the fuck, man? Yeah, those trials almost had to make him snap. And of course, Rem is going to be the one to lift him back up. Which is good. Headbutt of love. Let's go with that. But so she saved him. What the fuck? I know he does. I, I know he doesn't want to die. But he's it, it, this is a hard situation. Anything I can. Okay, don't do. Don't say that. Of course, there's that, there's value in your life. He sees himself that the, that's his only. Re redeeming factor about himself. I think I know what he's getting at, and if that's the case, I... I get it. You see your eyes. We basically saw her face right there. Oh, that's true. Yeah. There is a lot to unpack on this episode. So far, we're only, what, six minutes in? Six, seven, eight minutes in?
Me neither. I don't. I mean, understand. Oh, by the way, in case anyone was wondering about the whole, like, what's Stella look like, I don't want to make any assumptions. That's why I'm not really saying much. Fair. Uh, this is just, there's so much, there's just so much in this episode. Subaru, you lucky bastard. <laughs> Is he going to think Satella? He is. So it's weird, her veil is almost, it's like, slightly translucent. <laughs> Good. because all the other witches are technically gone. What? Nani? Nani? Don't tell me that's the end of the episode. Okay. 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 Okay, thank God. Oh, best girl, Patrish. Oh. oh, best girl, Otto. <laughs> okay, I was gonna be so... Okay. Oh.
It's because she cared about you. I did realize that she was... That she had, like, some roughage on him, on her. That's right, because, yeah, Otto can communicate with those. With, uh, I believe. Don't make me say why. <laughs> Patrick's best girl. <laughs> yeah, the timing. make me feel all warm inside <laughs> and it's not just the beer talking hey it's current year it's okay <laughs> Because a kid, she he rejected a kidna. No, well, you're not going back. You're not gonna go back and to see her. No way. What is that? Five? If he goes back, no. There's no way. He's not gonna see her again. Why? Oh. I love his enunciations, by the way, the voice actor. Straight up, just coming out. Uh, this is the first... This is actually the first time they've had this kind of... This kind. It's because they've been rejected. I need to put myself first in this time. Huh?
Yeah, uh, just a couple. Yep, main mansion. I would assume he would know, that's why. But what does that gospel show? That's what I'm curious. No! What? What? I did not... I would, I didn't paste that together. Uh... Oh my god, Roswell. So he needs a pick? Holy fuck. So he per he, he purposely set it up so that he can Oh, what the fuck? By these eyes. <sighs> He's forcing him to be insane. Did he? No. He's... He's doing Doge Dogeza? I forgot the name of it. Dogeza. It's prostrating, prostrating himself. or Yeah, prostrating, I believe. It's, it's the term. He was legitimately, yeah. Is he? F Far from it. I wonder if he knows about Beatrice, though, because, like I said, the only, the way he could save maybe the mansion is forming a contract Beatrice, so he could have a helper, but is it impossible? He does need the help of someone else, so that's guaranteed. He needs the help of people around him, but ow. Auto.
who is Otto? No, there's something more about Otto. Not what I was expecting, but he needed to punch some sense into him, yes, but. Who is Otto? They're gonna fucking end it here? What the fuck is going on? I don't. <laughs> There's something about Otto. There's something about Otto. It is true he's helped him in multiple things, but I... Don't tell me anything. But I literally have to wait three freaking months to figure out what happens. Why? Okay. You know, production company, White Fox, heart to heart right now. Do you want to, like, hey, we know Subaru is suffering. We know he's dealing with a lot of shit. Want to feel that? Here, wait three months. Because that's how it feels. Okay. Okay. I see how it is. I don't like that. I don't like that. It wasn't the cliffhanger I was expecting. I don't know something. I don't know something. There, you know, you know. I I think there's there's more layers. There's more layers that I didn't even see coming. I didn't expect that from Walls Roll. I did not. I. I mean, honestly, like looking at it in hindsight now, it really wasn't anyone else, um, who could have like, who came to mind about who set that contract, but yeah, I d wasn't even thinking it was him. Yeah, um, let me know what you guys thought. Uh, yeah, um, I, I don't, I, I'm so mad that I had to wait. You, COVID. You, just, you, because I could have not had to know. If I knew that I'd be getting more answers next week, I can handle that. But I can't. Had to wait, what, 12, 13, 14 weeks? Why? 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 I just want good shows. And this is a great show. It's fantastic. It's one of my favorites in recent years. Absolutely. Still is. I still hate you for doing this. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, real talk, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this first half of the season. A lot of questions. A couple of answers I wasn't expecting. So progress but yeah i crazy absolute insanity that was this episode um a lot of things were revealed a lot of things were revealed i'm curious i'm like him akina backing away taking away his qualification 
maybe just to see what's what he's gonna do because you know greed <sighs> there's a lot of stuff i'm gonna be re-watching this with my roommate later on um in a few hours when he's done with work um so i'm gonna be able to really just sink my teeth into this again uh but yeah again uh for the people who like to expand um all this stuff without spoiling anything in the future you guys are awesome um i read again every single comment thankfully again you guys have been fantastic you guys have been absolutely great with no spoilers um and so i do raise a glass to you i'm only halfway done with this beer it's by the way good beer i know i can't, it's it's german i can't pronounce it but yeah um this by the time season two wraps up i think i'm going to have a good place of where i put it right now again i said top 10 but we'll see i want to make a video as to why i personally and why i think some other people like this show as much as i do I don't know if I'm going to get around to it, especially, I, you know, I might be able to because next season I don't think I'm going to be reacting to much. Actually, this season technically. Uh, I believe the winter season is currently airing right No, no, fall, fall. Sorry. The fall season is currently airing right now. I think it started this week. Um, and in case anyone was wondering, I don't really have a list. I have one show and that's it. I'm not going to say what it is, but I want you guys just to be like, hey, at least look at, into this. Um, Talentless and Anna, I know about. So, I, I know about it. it. For those of you who know about what Talentist Nana is, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I read the manga. Never finished it. Not even close. Or wherever it is. But it, I know a good amount of stuff about it. Uh, Higarashi no Nakakoro ni, I know about that one. Um, and also Kuma 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 Bear. Um, also read the manga. Dropped it halfway. I think it was just because um, the site that I read it on uh, closed. And I just never got around to picking, back, picking it back up. But... In terms of the shows that you might think I would like or would be interested in me looking at at the very least, not really necessarily reacting to it because I, I, I need to figure out what I'm going to be reacting to in the first place. Uh, but uh, with the exception of those three, let me know what else. Uh, Ju Jaijin, Jujin, whatever the next one that's going to be on Crunchyroll. Uh, Kai Kuz it starts, it's like JK, the initials. I, I don't know. That one doesn't really look appealing to me. Um, nothing wowed me about it. So probably going to pass on that. I might look take a look into it again but eh. um it's not until next season uh the winter season 2021 where pff, i mean reason has come back but we have a stacked season but i'm not gonna really talk about that because uh, that's it's a it's out in the future got a couple wait i gotta wait a little bit for that but yeah but um let me know. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for watching the first half of ReZero with me. For those who have been stuck around, I know um, some people would have liked to see me do Season 1 reactions. But again, I didn't start reacting until 2017. So, I would have loved to. But it is what it is. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, there was someone who commented on my video. I don't remember your name, your username. Um, asking about my Discord server, send me a private message on Twitter. Um, I will get you set up with that. Um, but yeah, I do have a I do have a Discord that I just invite people to. Um, mostly talk about gacha games and uh, a couple other things. So it's not really a very interactive uh, server uh, in terms of other stuff. Uh, but yeah, you're welcome to. Or if anyone else is interested in the Discord thing. Actually, you know, if you guys are actually interested in entering my Discord, which is just a few people. We really only have a four, five, six people talking. Um, let me know in the comment section below as well. Uh, and I'm, I'll probably post a link or something. And we'll see what happens. I'll keep it up for a couple days. Uh, the access link. But yeah. But anyways, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys soon this season, maybe. Uh, but if not... You'll see videos later on down the road. Maybe live streams. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around with me. But this has been Ramen Reviews. And I will see you guys next time. See ya.